am a British national of Uganda descent. Christian Aid, my employer, has a presence in 50 of some of the poorest countries in the world. We have heard again this morning in this plenary session that nearly half of all, women, of all new infections are occurring among women and girls. But we also face the additional burden of care. The disproportionate impact of HIV on women is fueled mainly by social economic inequality, discrimination, <coughs> lack of decision making power in relationships, and violence. Young girls are even more vulnerable due to this structural and lack of co comprehensive information and are now of one of the most affected populations. HIV-positive women, in particular, face further discrimination, which prevents us from accessing HIV services and being able to act on prevention and treatment, information and care. As a woman living with HIV for the last 20 years, I have experienced prolonged illness and could not get treatment. Have faced HIV-related stigma and am openly living with HIV. And have sometimes felt invisible in meetings where decisions were being made about HIV-positive people. My experiences resonate with millions of women and I would like to urge you to take the following action. To take more concrete steps to promote the meaningful participation and leadership of women and girls in the global response to HIV and AIDS. To avail us with the necessary tools. We can do this. To actively bring HIV positive women into key making this position in planning and implementing HIV programs and services. We are human beings first. There are so many professionals among us. HIV is just a small part of who we are. To enforce the legal and policy framework that provides effective protection for women against domestic and sexual violence and promotes gender equality, inheritance and property rights and access to financial credit and employment. To fund programs that support the integration of sexual and reproductive health, maternal, and HIV services. Government should provide comprehensive sexual education to women and girls, including condom negotiation strategies and access to male and female condoms, instead of just talking about these things. <laughs> sexual attention needs to be paid to older women carers as we work to reduce the burden of care. To support them to fulfill their critical role of caregiving they have assumed for orphans and vulnerable children and people living with HIV. We have to continue to do more to address HIV-related stigma and discrimination with it, with, as people living with HIV live longer and get older. Migrants the majority of who are women and girls need to be supported more effectively. Restrictive policies are not helpful. There is an urgency to continue to invest in prevention technologies, better treatment for, for opportunistic infections like TB, which impact on the lives of many women every year and make them vulnerable to HIV. Lastly, let's remember that HIV is a virus not a moral issue, it is an illness, not a crime. Abolish, abolish, abolish. This is something that has been recommended in the plenary session. Please abolish the laws that criminalize HIV from transmission. And for all those countries that have short and long-term tra travel restrictions, please exercise some common sense and remove them.